Hi, thanks for joining us for the Shakespeare Underground presented by Actors Theatre of Columbus. We're sponsored by the Greater Columbus Arts Council, the Ohio Arts Council, the Rheinberger Foundation, and the Columbus Foundation. If you'd like to donate, please follow the link in the description. And while you're there, consider becoming a member to be among the first to know what we've got coming up. Enjoy the show. Right, that's it. It's just it's too much to take. I've had it. That bastard Cleon. I wish the gods would obliterate him, him and his schemes. Since that awful day he came into this house because of him, we slaves keep getting beaten all the time. <laughs> oh, that man is the very worst. All oh, those lies he tells. Hey, hey, you poor man, how you doing? Not so good. <laughs> oh, the same as you. All right, all right. Come over here so we can moan together. <sighs> what, what can, can we, we do? We're just, just so, so black and, and blue. blue. waste our time moaning. We should stop and look for some way to preserve our hides. Yeah, uh, how can we do that? Uh, well, suggest something. Well, the way things are right now, the best thing for us we can do is head on out and throw ourselves down before some statue of God. A statue? What kind of a statue? Do you really believe that there are gods? <laughs> Of course I do. <laughs> uh, uh, what sort of evidence have you got for that? Well, I'm someone gods clearly do not like. Does that not count as a uh, confirmation? Mm, proof enough for me. So, we'd better look someplace else for help. Do you want me to uh, tell this audience what's going on? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Ooh, we could ask them to do one thing for us. Show us by their comments if they enjoy what we say and do. Ah, <laughs> well then, I'll speak up. We have a bad-tempered and crude master. He is angry all the time. A grumpy old man. Demos. Last new moon, he hired a tanner, a great scoundrel, the most slanderous of rogues. And this tanner, Cleon, observed the old man's habits. He threw himself down at our master's feet and began fawning, wheedling, flattering, and buttering him up. He makes sure we keep our distance and will not allow anyone else to attend on Demos. He chants out oracles, so the old man is mad for prophecies, and when he sees that he's quite lost his wits, he goes back to work according to his plan, accusing those inside with outright lies. So, we get whipped while Cleon scampers among the slaves, making demands, stirring up trouble, taking bribes, and so we pay up. If we don't, the old man abuses us. <laughs> so now, my friend, let's come up with something fast. What path or person can we turn to now? The best way, my friend, is getting out of here. No, oh, but there's no damn way we can escape Cleon. That man sees everything. Well, then... The best thing for us would be to die. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, the most manly way that we two could perish, um, what would that be? The most courageous way. The best would be for us to, uh, drink bull's blood. <laughs> That's a good one to choose. Tasty. Uh, no. No, by God, not that. But wine, undiluted from the good spirit cup, then perhaps we'll think of something useful. Oh, yes, unmixed wine. You know, it's natural you'd think of having a drink. <laughs> but can anyone come up with good advice when he is, uh, drunk? <laughs> bah! 
what a thing to ask! Bah! <laughs> You're a fountain spouting streams of streaming bullshit! You dare complain that wine disturbs the way we think! What can you find better than some wine for getting men to act effectively? You see, that when men drink, they get wealthy, they are successful, they win their lawsuits, they become happy and help out their friends. Come, bring me a jug of wine right now so I can refresh my mind and uh, think up something really clever. By all the gods, what will you end up doing to both of us with this uh, drinking of yours? <laughs> Eh, uh, something good. Go get it while I sit myself down right here and, uh, think. For if I do get drunk, then I'll spatter tiny schemes and fancies, minuscule ideas in all directions. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> it's a good thing I wasn't caught in there stealing this wine. Uh, tell me, uh, what's Cleon doing? Ugh, that slanderous rogue has been licking up some cake he confiscated. Now he's drunk, lying on his back, snoring on his highs. You will come on then and uh, pour me a generous bit more of that unmixed wine for a libation. <laughs> there you go. So, take it and tell me, <laughs> what is this great idea? Get inside there and steal the oracles belonging to Cleon. Quickly, while he's asleep. <laughs> All right, I'll go. But I'm afraid I might find this good spirit of yours becomes the genius of my misfortune. <laughs> Let's see now. I'll bring this jug over here beside me uh, so I can moisten my mind and come up with another fabulous idea. <sighs> what a noise Cleon makes farting and snoring. <sighs> Thanks to all that, though, I grab the sacred oracle, the one he guards so carefully without him noticing. <sighs> you! Oh, the craftiest of men. Give it here so I can look it over. Oh, and uh, pour me a drink. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hurry up. <clears throat> well, now, let's see what's in here. <clears throat> you <laughs> these prophecies. Quick, uh, give me a drink. Come on. There you go. Well, what does the yeah. oracle say? <laughs> it, uh, yeah, you disgraceful man. Oh, 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 oh. So, what? that's why you've been protecting yourself all this time. You're terrified of this oracle. It's about you. <laughs> why is that? <laughs> well, uh, in here, it says how he's to be destroyed. And how is that? Well, this oracle clearly predicts that first dealer in sheep will come along and control city business. Uh, he's to be in charge until someone else, a more repulsive man, comes on the scene. Now, once that happens, uh, he dies. Uh, his successor is a leather dealer and a robber with a screaming voice. So, fate decreed that the dealer in sheep would be toppled by the leather dealer? Uh, yeah, that's right. Then heaven help us, we're in deep trouble! I wish some other dealer might show up from somewhere, just one. Well, there is one. He has a splendid trade. Okay, uh, tell me who that is. Come on, I'm asking you! <laughs> 
<laughs> you want me to tell you? Yes, for God's sake. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> the man who will destroy Cleon is a sausage dealer. A sausage, a sausage dealer. Oh, what a trade! Where on earth do we find a man like that? Let's go look for him. Hey, there's one coming here, as if he's off to the market. Oh, stroke of luck! Hey, 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 sausage seller! Hey, you, hey, you blessed creature! Come over here, my dear friend! Come over here! You show up as a savior for the city and for the two of us! <laughs> well, come on, tell him what the god's oracle proclaims! I'll go and keep watch on Cleon. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, ho, ho, you most blessed of men! And a wealthy, too! Today, you have nothing, but tomorrow you will be immensely great, chief leader of a happy Athens! <laughs> my good fellow, why not leave me alone to wash my tripe and sell my sausages instead of mocking me? Oh, you silly fool! Forget about your tripe! Now look over there! Do you see all those people, those, those screens? I see them. Ah, you're going to be lord and master of them all. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yes, yes, you, of course. But you're not seeing the whole picture yet. Gaze out at all the islands there surrounding us. I see them. What do you see? Trading ports? Merchant ships? Yes, I see those. All that land is to be traded away, thanks to you. For you are going to be the most powerful of men. This oracle says so right here. <laughs> okay, then explain this to me. How am I, seller of sausages, going to change to someone respectable? Oh, the very reason you'll be powerful is that you're a shameless market rascal and impudent as well. Uh, but I don't see how I'm good enough to have great influence. Oh, good heavens, whatever is wrong with you to make you say you are not good enough? You must, I'm sure, know something remarkable about yourself. What about your parents? Don't you come from good and honest people? <laughs> By God, no. Nothing but worthless rabble. Oh, you fine fellow, such amazing luck. For political affairs, you really have such great advantages. But my good man, I have no education, nothing but reading and writing. And I'm bad at those, real bad. Well, that's uh, the only thing stopping you, that you can read and write uh, real bad. You see... A leader of the people no longer needs to have any uh, training or to be honest in his dealings. Instead, he should be ignorant and disgusting. <laughs> but you must not disregard what the gods are offering you in this oracle. What does the oracle say? Oh, by the gods, it's good. <laughs> but its style is uh, rather intricate, uh, written as a sophisticated riddle. <coughs> me, me, me. <clears throat> but when the eagle Tanner with his crooked claws shall in his beak seize the stupid blood-sucking serpent, then will perish Cleon's pickled garlic, and then the gods will bestow enormous fame on those whose vocation is to market tripe, unless they would prefer to sell their sausages. How has this got anything to do with me? Well, <clears throat> the eagle tanner is this man here. Cleon. Huh. Those are uh, crooked claws? What are those? Uh, well, uh, uh, what those words mean is uh, is clear. He seizes things in his crooked hands like claws and uh, confiscates them. What about the serpent? 
Ah, that's obvious. The serpent is elongated, as is the sausage, which is also long, and uh, sausages, like serpents, suck up blood. Hence, it says the serpent will, uh, will now conquer the eagle tanner unless the snake's resolve is broken by words. Well, this oracle makes me sound good. Still, I'm wondering uh, how I'll be capable of, like, ruling people. <laughs> capable of... <laughs> That's ridiculously easy! Keep doing what you're doing. Make a complete hash of public business. Mix things together like sausage meat. And always win people to your side with well-cooked little phrases to sweeten them. The other qualities a leader of the public really needs you already have. A disgusting voice and a disreputable birth. And what's more, you're a product of the marketplace. You possess all the qualities essential for politics. The oracles agree. So, crown yourself with a garland wreath, make a libation to the gods of idiots, and then give that man what he deserves. Who's gonna help me out? Rich men fear him, and poor men are so terrified they fart. But there are a thousand excellent men, the knights, who hate him. They will assist you, along with all people here in this audience who have any brains. Cleon is coming, we're done for! Uh. Hey, why are you backing off? Stand up to him. Oh, noble sausage seller, do not betray our public cause. You, you knights, uh, cavalrymen, help us out. Now is a time of crisis. They're getting close. Come on, defend yourself. Wheel round for an attack. That cloud of dust is clearly visible. They're coming on, almost here. So fight back. Good luck. Hit him. That Hit that wretch. That gave beat me him. Keep him, him off. Him. Don't give him any peace. You, audience. Help me out now, I'm being lambasted by conspirators! And justly so, because you gobbled up public funds and what's more, you keep your eye peeled for any citizen who is stupid as a sheep but has money. And if you find one, some simple fool who avoids all politics, you wrap him up in slander and swallow him up. You're attacking me as well, but my good men, it's because of you that I'm being beaten up. You see, I was just on the point of proposing that we ought to set up a memorial here in the city dedicated to you and your bravery. Oh, you imposter. You slippery rogue. If he jumps this way, I'll thump him with this fist. If he slips down here, my legs will kick him. <laughs> With this loud voice of mine, I will force you to flee! If your shouting defeats him, then bully for you. You win. But if his shamelessness surpasses yours, then the victory cake belongs to us. I denounce this man. I claim he smuggles soup out to the warships. And I, uh, by the gods, am accusing this man of running into the public courts with an empty stomach and then coming out with his guts crammed full. I will stop this man's insolence. You will die right on the spot. I'll keep screaming out three times as loud as you. I'll yell so loud I'll drown out your noise. And when I bellow, your hollering will cease. I'll skin you alive with false accusations. I'll use illegal ways to block your path. Look me right 
in the eye. Try not to blink. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha! Ah, if you make a sound, I'll tear you apart. Say a word and I'll stuff your mouth with sausage. Bah! Fine! I admit that I am a thief and you are not. Yes, I am. But if anybody sees me stealing, I just lie. I perjure myself under oath. <laughs> but, but, but by then, you're just stealing someone else's tricks, doing what I do. Hmm? I denounce you hmm, for possessing sacred tribe, for which you have paid no taxes. You're a wretched, disreputable screamer. I know what's going on here. It's been sliced out of an old piece of leather. You're the one who used a misleading cut to slice leather from a crappy ox hide and cheated country folk by selling it. So before they'd worn it a single day, it had stretched out and was two palms widths bigger. And right from the start, won't you, shameless as hell, relying on your crassness? But now, Someone else we like better appears. He's more shameless by far, and he'll win. All right. Show us now how a decent upbringing doesn't mean a thing. Well then, you must hear what sort of citizen this fellow is. <laughs> Will you allow me to speak? No, of course not, I won't. I'm a lowlife, just like you. Are you not going to allow me to- No, by God, I'm not. <laughs> yes, by God, you will. No, I won't. I'll fight first to see who'll speak before the other. Bloody hell, I'm going to explode! Oh, no, you're not. I won't allow it. Let him burst, for God's sake, let him! What makes you think? You're so confident that you can confront me face to face. Because I am capable of prattling on and cooking up some spicy sauces. I will use force to jump into the council, huh? Make them all panic. I'll stuff your arsehole just like a sausage skin. I'll force you outside, face down through the door. I'll denounce you as a bloody coward. I'll stretch your hide across my tanning bench. I'll slice you up and uh, grind you into mincemeat. I'll pluck out your eyelashes. I'll slice your throat. I'm not afraid of you. Not while the Senate is still alive and kicking and the people just sit around looking like total fools. Whatever happens, he has no shame. His color always remains the same. <laughs> you will not outdo me in shamelessness. I know in this business, I will outperform you. You will not outdo me in shamelessness. I understand you took a 10 thousand dollar bribe from Pododia to convince Deimos to set more generous peace terms. What about it? Would you like a thousand dollars to keep your mouth shut? Well, I'll be happy to take it. <laughs> You'll be charged with bribery. Four lawsuits. Each one carries a hundred thousand dollar fine. And you'll be charged with twenty thousand for skipping out on military service and thousands more for theft. Ooh. You're a total rogue. And you're a scoundrel. Hit him. D dip. Give him a hefty <laughs> swipe. <laughs> Punch him in the face. Bah! Punch ah! him. Beat bah! him. Beat him. Ah! Go. You 
brave heart, the noblest of all slabs of meat, you showed up as a savior for our city and for us, its citizens. How well, how brilliantly your speeches have demoralized that man. What praise for you can match the joy we feel. I was not unaware of this conspiracy they were framing. I knew what they were nailing together and hammering into one, the whole scheme. And I'm not aware of what you're doing in Argos. He's pretending he's making them our allies, but he's negotiating with the Spartans. It's one of his private deals. <laughs> well, I'm going <laughs> to the council right away to inform them of the conspiracies involving all of you. These meetings you have in the city during the night. Oh, all your secret dealings with the Persians and their great king. <laughs> Come on now. Now's the time you've got to dash to the council room. Running all the way. That man is about to descend on them and, and, and slander every one of us, howling and kicking up a fuss. I'm going. But first, let me get rid of my tripe and sausages. Uh, I'll, um, uh, I'll just leave them here. Well, you've got to go. Move, move, hurry up! You've got to That's get what we're doing! Get to move, get to move we don't on, go! Hurry! Day. Go! Time's a wasting! Luck. May you live up to my hopes, and, and may you come back to us in triumph, adorned with the, the garlands of victory! Oh, Poseidon, come to us here, to your chorus, O oh, Pallas, guardian of our city come to us here and bring with you victory for if there ever was a time when you must give a victory by any means to these men here that moment has arrived oh oh dearest and most vigorous of men how worried we have been since you've been gone now you're back safe and sound. Tell us, how did you make out in the competition? The result is, I've crushed the council. Then everyone now should shout with delight. So come on, lay it out in, in, in very clear terms what you've been about. Be brave and, and, and tell all. Each one of us gets such joy from your goal. Well then, listen. The story is worth hearing. I went rushing from here, right behind him. He was inside hurling his thunder with fantastic stories, mountains of words, shouting there were conspirators. His speech was very convincing. The whole council, as it listened to his lies, grew spice hot with gazes like mustard and eyebrows tense. When I saw they believed what he was saying and falling for his lies and bullcrap, I shouted out, Ahem! Members of the council, I bring excellent news. I have never seen sardines at a cheaper price. They looked at me with mouths wide open and applauded. But Cleon, Guessing what I was up to started prattling, raving nonsense. So then the presidents and archers began to drag him off and the council members stood among themselves babbling about sardines and Cleon kept pleading with them. But with one voice, the councillors all called for the presidents to adjourn. Then the assembly jumped the railing in all directions. I snuck off quickly to buy up all the coriander seed and onions on sale in the marketplace. And then I passed them out and free of charge of seasonings, a gift to the counselors who had no spices to put on their fish. They all sang my praises and lavished me with their attention. So I won over the council with uh, some coriander, single dollars worth. Then I came back here. Oh, 
In all these things, you have been very good, getting your way as a lucky man should. That rascal now knows he's met defeat. Another man beat him at being a cheat. You've known for a while that we are a friend. Your trustworthy ally to the end. <laughs> oh, here comes Cleon, seething and foaming as if he's ready to swallow me up. Oh my goodness, he's brash. Oh, if I have any of my old lies left, I will wipe you out. Otherwise, I'm finished and completely up the creek. Oh, I love uh, your threats. Your smoke and mirror chatter just like makes me laugh. And dance a corny jig. The chicken dance. I'll destroy you. I'll swear that on the privileged seating that I won at Pylos. My, my, privileged seating. Oh, how I long to see you tossed from your privileged seat and sitting in a row right at the back. By heaven, I'll have you clapped in the stocks. What a nasty temper. I'll drag you to Deimos. I'll have justice from you. And then I'll haul you off to him. I can produce more slanders than you can. <laughs> you poor idiot. He won't believe you. I play around with him and do just as I wish. Mm, you think of Deimos as someone you own. With my skill, I can make Deimos do whatever I want. I can open him up or close him tight. Well, I can do that too. Deimos! Deimos! Come out here! Come, come out and see how I am being abused! Yes, for Zeus's sake, come on outside! Ah, uh, Cleon, who's being nasty to you? Because of you, I'm being assaulted by this fellow here and these young men. Why is that? Uh, because I am your loving friend, Deimos, and I'm very fond of you. Uh, and who are you? I am this man's rival. For a long time, I've loved you and have wished to help you out, along with many other fine, good people. But we've been unable to do that because of this man here. Do not fail in argument. He's tricky, always with a plan. Deimos! If I'm not prepared to fight bravely for you, may I be destroyed, nay, sewn in two, cut up into leather straps for horses' halters. And if I don't love you and value you, Deimos, may I be diced up and boiled as mincemeat. If you don't believe that, may I be grated on this very table, chopped up with cheese and mashed into a paste. Deimos, how? Could there be a citizen who loves you more than me? First of all, when I was on the council, I, in the treasury, produced for you massive sums of money. I, I had some men tortured, others throttled, and from others I asked for a financial split, and I never worried about private citizens, if I could make you happy. Hey, Deimos, there's nothing so wonderful about that. I'll do that for you as well. I'll steal from other men and serve their bread up to you. This man does not love you. He just enjoys warming himself at your fire. That's the first thing I will demonstrate to you. You were sitting there on those hard, rocks and this man doesn't care unlike me for i bring you this cushion which i sewed up myself i must say you've done a truly noble act you're a real friend of the people such tiny flatteries 
to win him over? Well, you got him hooked with lures much tinier than this. I'm willing to wager my head and my state that no man has ever shown up who loved Deimos more than I do, or who was better at protecting him. How could you love him when for eight years you have seen him living in casts, crannies, turrets, yet show him no pity. Instead, you keep him locked in and steal his honey. Deimos doesn't see the crap you're up to, so in his distress, need, lack of cash, he'll keep gawping after you. But if he ever takes to the countryside and lives in peace there, regaining his fortitude, he'll realize how much you have cheated him of so many benefits and he'll come back from the farmland an angry man. <laughs> Is it not disgraceful to talk of me in this manner falsely accusing me in front of these Athenians and this good Deimos when I have done so many things for Athens? You keep trying to make Athenian small town citizens by constructing walls that close them in and chanting oracles. Don't, Deimos. Is it not shameful to hear this kind of talk about me from this fellow all because I love you? Just shut up, you. Stop this foul abuse. For far too long now, you've been getting away with duping me. My dear little Deimos, he's the worst of rogues who's carried out all sorts of nasty schemes. You pay for that! I'll convict you of stealing city cash. You've been committing the most disgraceful things against the people here in Athens, and I will clearly show that you received a bribe of more than four thousand dollars. If not, may then I not remain alive. Oh, how I envy your persuasive tongue. If you keep on attacking in this way, you, all by yourself, will govern the city and control our allies. Don't let this man slip away. Now he's let you get a grip on him. Things have not yet gone that far, my good friends. For what I have achieved is marvelous enough to shut the mouths of all my enemies, each and every one. You scoundrel, you've been cheating me for too long and short changing people. <laughs> but, 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 but. But, my dear sir, don't think you will ever come across a better friend than me. I am the one who put a stop to the conspirators. And without my having knowledge of it, no one can start a hostile mutiny. I shout out who they are immediately. You're like the fishermen who hunt for eels. In calm waters, they catch nothing at all. But if they stir up the mud, they'll get a catch. So you two gain something profitable if you disturb the city. Now tell me this, from all those treated hides you have for sale, have you ever given this Deimos here who you say you love souls for his shoes? No, he never has. Well, then. Do you see the kind of man he is? I, on the other hand, brought this pair of shoes and I'm giving them to you to wear. For all men I know, you are, in my view, the finest where the people are concerned, the most dedicated to the city and to my toes. Isn't it terrible that a pair of shoes could be so important that you can't remember all I have done on your behalf. Ah, my God, what silly tricks you are using to attack me. No, I'm simply borrowing your strategies in the same way a man who's been drinking when he needs to relieve himself might help himself to uh, someone else's slippers. You bastard, you are pissing me off with all this foolery. Well, the goddess told me I could beat you in slinging bullshit.
Oh, but you won't prevail. I'll make you pay for this. I'll crush you with taxes. I will make sure your name is listed among those who have lots of cash. Ha. I um, will make no threats. It's clear enough this man is a fine citizen. It's been ages since a man of his sort has come along for the vulgar common folk. As for you, Cleon, you say you love me, but you just make me ready for a fight. Now hand back my signet ring. No longer will you be my steward. Take it, but know this. If you won't allow me to be your steward, another man will come along to take his turn. Someone more disreputable than me. This cannot be my ring. It looks as if the seal's been changed unless I'm going blind. Now let me have a look. Uh, what was your seal? A fig leaf stuffed with beef fat. Yeah, that's not what's here. What what is it? And now, a uh, seagull with a mouth wide open, ah, making a speech like perched up high on a rock. That's not my signet ring. I'll give you this one. You can be my steward. No, master, don't do that yet. I implore you, not before you've heard my oracles and mine as well. Well then. Get the oracles, so Deimos here can listen to them. All right. And you get yours as well. I'll get them. Ha! By God, we'll do it. Here, look at this lot. Ha! Uh, I can't carry all of mine. Ooh. What is this? Oracles. All of them? Are you surprised? I've got a chest crammed full of them. I've got an attic and a two apartments full. Come on, let's have a look. These oracles, um, who do they come from? <laughs> Mine are from Bassus. And who do yours come from? They're from Glanus, Bacchus's elder brother. What are they about? Uh, mine are about Athens, about you, about me, about everything. And yours, what are they about? Oh, they're about Athens, about uh, lentil soup, about the Spartans, about fresh oh. mackerel, about flour merchants who give false measure in the marketplace, about you. And about me. Well, come on then, read them to me. Then listen and give me now your complete attention. Hearken to the intent of Apollo's oracles. He has ordered you to keep safe at the sacred hound with the jagged teeth who barks in your defense and on your behalf yowls out alarming noises he will furnish you with payments and if he fails he will go under for there are countless jackdaws who hate that dog and keep screaming after him i do not understand a word he says what do payments have to do with jackdaws and a, a dog i am that dog I, I yowl in your defense. I, it says here, Apollo tells you to protect your dog. Me. The oracle says nothing of the sort. This uh, dog here is chewing up your oracles the way a dog chews on doorposts. I have here the proper prophecy about the dog. And state it. Beware of Cerebus, the dog which kidnaps men. When you are at a meal, he fawns on you with wagging tail, but he's watching to devour your dishes. When you look away, your mouth agape, often in the night, 
He sneaks into your kitchen rooms while you are unaware and like a dog licks clean your plates and islands. That's <laughs> much better. Well, listen to this one and then decide. A woman ooh, in sacred Athens shall bear a lion who will fight for the people against huge clouds of gnats as if he were protecting his own cubs. Look after him, build wooden walls around him and towers of iron. Do you know what that means? I don't. The god clearly states that you should look after me because I am the lion symbol. How did you become the lion Simba without my knowledge? He's quite deliberately not explaining something in that saying. The wall made out of iron and wood inside which Apollo has told you to preserve the man. Why does the god say these words? He's telling you to tie this man down in those wooden stalks. The ones that have five holes? I think that oracle is just about to be fulfilled. <laughs> Don't believe him. Look here. Look here. I have an oracle here about wings. About you. You will become an eagle and be king of all the earth. I have one as well. You will rule the earth and the Red Sea and will be presiding judge in Medea and lick up decorated cakes. Ooh, splendid. It's really true that no one is cleverer than Glanis. So now I commit myself to you to guide me in my old age and to educate me once more from the start. <laughs> no, no, not yet. I, I'm begging you. It's just... Wait a little while. I can't stand to hear you talk. I've been cheated too many times by you. How about flower cakes? Ooh. I'll provide you with some especially for you. I will give you some well-kneaded scones and nicely roasted meat. All you have to do is eat it. All right. I'll hand over the keys to the captain, so whichever one of you is better at giving me good service. I'll be the first to run inside. No, you won't. I will. Oh, Deimos. Your rule is surely fine. You're, you're like a tyrant men fear all the time. But you're easy to fool. You like flattering cries and love to be praised and told plenty of lies. You listen to speakers with your mouth open wide. Your mind might be present, but it's gone for a ride. I am fully aware that I act like a fool. I like drinking each day, and I raise up a fee for political sway. I deceive all those men who think they're so clever. I'm on watch for them all, and my eye always looks, though I don't seem to see when they're acting like crooks. I make them throw up what they've stolen from folk. They all puke what I poke. Get the devil out of my way. Look at this. I'm the first one here, and I brought you a chair. But not a table. <laughs> I was the first with that. Look at this. I've brought you pea soup. Excellent taste and splendid color. And here is meat cooked in its own juices with a slice of tripe and sausage. Take this slice of rich flat cake from me. But from me, you will get an entire cake. How do I decide between the two of you using facts that will make the audience believe the judgment I pronounce is wise? I will tell you. 
Don't say a word. Check out what's inside my bag there. Then do the same to Cleon's bag. And that's all you need to judge correctly. Well, then let's see what's in here. It's empty. Can't you see that? I gave everything to you. This bag is on the people's side. Look over there in Cleon's. Do you see? Oh my, it's full of so many good things. A huge piece of cake he's keeping for himself. He cut off a slice and gave that to me. Only this big. And that's what he did before. He gave you a tiny part of what he took and set aside most of it for himself. You wretch, was that how you were cheating me by stealing? That symbol of your office, I gave it to you. I showered you with gifts. I did steal, but for the city's benefit. Take that sash off and quickly so I can give it to this man. Alas, the God's oracle has been fulfilled. Farewell, my sash. With great reluctance, you must leave me. Some other man will take you now and possess you. No greater thief, but perhaps a man with more good d d fortune. Bah! Oh, Zeus, god of the Greeks, this victory belongs to you. Hail, glorious conqueror. Tell me your name. Agora. Well then, I place myself in the care of Agora to hand him over Cleon there. Deimos, I will look after you in style. But why do you hang your head? Well, I'm ashamed of earlier mistakes. Oops. You shouldn't think about them. Those mistakes were not your fault. Nope, they were brought on by the man who lied to you. And what about that man, Cleon, who did all this? How will you punish him? No, oh, nothing excessive. He'll carry on with my old trade beside the city gates, selling sausages all by himself. I mean, he'll make a hash of things, but from now on, it'll be with dog and donkey meat. That man richly deserves what you've proposed. And now, in return, I'm inviting you to the capital to take the seat which that... Uh, piece of filth once occupied. Someone take that fellow away from here.